The inflammatory response, provoked by infection or tissue damage, can occur anywhere in the body. It is most commonly recognized as redness and swelling on the skin. Inflammation provides early protection by confining the pathogens to the site of infection or trauma. Inflammation also promotes repair of damaged tissues. The mechanism of inflammation occurs in three stages. The first stage of the inflammatory response, vasodilation and increased blood capillary permeability, is triggered by histamine, released by mast cells and basophils. An increased amount of blood flowing to the area produces redness, heat, swelling and irritation. In the second stage, neutrophils emigrate to the area, lured by substances released by damaged cells. Monocytes also enter the area and step up the removal of microbes via phagocytosis. Interstitial fluid and debris from the damaged area form pus, which commonly lasts until the damage subsides. The third stage is tissue repair. Fibrinogen, a clotting protein, is transformed into a meshwork of thick, insoluble fibrin threads forming a clot. The clot becomes a scab. New cells come together under the scab, mending the wound and helping the tissue regain its normal structure and function. Fever is an increased body temperature for the purpose of immune defense. Normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. When certain bacteria are phagocytized, the release of interleukins triggers the readjustment of the body's thermostat. Excessive fever, above 112 degrees Fahrenheit or 44 degrees Celsius, can be dangerous, even fatal. But temperatures around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius can be beneficial in fighting viral or bacterial infections. Fevers help fight viral infection by increasing the production of interferon. Fever also inhibits infection by damaging bacterial enzymes. Increased temperature also speeds up mechanisms that repair tissue, such as phagocytosis. When the damage dissipates, the body's thermostat is reset to normal.